back working on my 95 Mustang. And the car has been out rent multiple times, no issues. Um, I went for the yearly t uh, inspection I do for rental cars. Someone noticed a leak and I noticed it too. And I thought, well, I didn't hide, tighten the, this one hose down here tight enough and it was leaking, not a big deal. But then I noticed a lot of the, um, because I use a, uh, the brown uh, coolant, it was like an orange brown tint coolant on this car. I noticed it like was caked on timing cover. So I put my hand underneath and you can literally, when the car is running, you can feel coolant and it leaves a trail about that long. So wasn't quite sure what was going on. Finally got underneath the car with it running, the seal on the water pump shot. Uh, it's not squeaking, not making any noises, but you can't do anything about that. Once the water pump goes, you're pretty much done. So I got to replace a water, this, and this water pump, which pisses me off is maybe, oh geez, maybe a um, year and a half old. That's it. So now I got to yank the water pump back off and do it. So I'm going to film um, replacing a water pump. I don't know if I filmed one of these before, but um, good thing about the the 302s, uh, when I say 302s, the push rod 302s, it's not the hardest thing in the world to do. Um, but it's still time consuming nonetheless. So I'm going to go ahead and film that and show you as a go. I just right, obviously you need to take the radiator fan off and uh, the tank and all this stuff and get it out of the way. It'll go a lot quicker if you do. Five sixteenths on most of this stuff. All right, so the next thing is you got to break loose these four bolts. I believe there are 12, but before you take the belt off, you got to break them uh, loose. Half inch. And the four down here as well, because you got to remove the top part of the What I basically do is I leave two bolts on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and release the tensioner. All righty, which I believe is a 5 8 Let me see. Yep.
All right, T45. You don't need to yank the uh, upper pulley off. I always do. I'm going to go ahead and replace this while I'm at it. And you now have access to all the bolts. You can see that the weep hole blew and it's like sludge got in there. So while I'm still cleaning off the, the gasket on the, the, or the housing for the water pump, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pre-do the gasket on the water pump. Okay, I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then I'm going to go clean. So I cleaned it up real good. What I'm going to go ahead and do is put the... Uh, top layer on this gasket now and then remount it.
And what I always do is the very top bolt, the very bottom bolt. The very bottom bolt. <laughs> About to start drying. So a long bolt like this, you'd want to clean it and then put the thread sealant on it. Thread sealant on it. I'm just threading them in. I'll sink them to spec here in a minute. This one gets locked tight. We'll take out the first bolt, clean it, and put Loctite on it. bolt it up and thread sealant and replace the belt tensioner part number on that is 305296 and um, what you want to do is validate that the positions lined up, you can rotate these based on the, um, you can rotate these based on your belt size. Oh, look how much damage. Oh, a lot of coolant on this. So it's set right, I'm gonna go ahead and install. Loctite on this. There's a little nub that it fits in, little part that grabs. If you install it in that, it goes in a lot easier. This goes in at 22 foot pounds. Okay. Basically, hand tighten all these screws down, and then once I get the belt on, I'll um, go back and torque them. And this easiest way to put on the serpentine be belt is is not to connect the the top pulley. Sort of line everything up. And then when you know everything is lined up, then you'll release the tensioner to put it underneath the idler.
All right, the um, pulley to damper is 35. Could be a little hard to set. So if you like this uh, video, go ahead and smash the like button below. Um, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell if you want some notifications. See you next time on Chasing Mustangs. Thanks. All right. Great cool. job. Yeah. I see it like literally every day. <laughs>